a small crowd of veterans from across the northwest line up with current serving members of the armed forces. They stand with family and friends of 82-year-old Ronald Davies to receive him at Walton Lea Crematorium. Though a hard-working family, the £3,000 funeral bill that Ron Davies' relatives were quoted was just too expensive, which is when two local veterans' charities stepped in. I was approached by a friend. Um, she asked me to work on behalf of the family. Um, they couldn't afford to pay for the funeral. So um, I got involved and between all the veterans uh, that I know, we've raised the money to pay for Ronald's funeral. And how are the family feeling? They're overwhelmed with all the support that they've been given um, and it's just a real relief that the funeral has been paid for and the dad can be buried now. And thanks to social media, members of the public were able to pay their respects. Um, it all came out here as, as, as respect. I wanted to pay our last respects to him and give him a send off that he really deserved. Well, I think it was his son just thanked me for coming today and I've never you know, met the guy, but it was a nice touch that he said thank you, but it was my pleasure. There was also some understanding from the funeral directors. Everybody deserves a funeral, um, regardless of what the family circumstances are. Well, that's the biggest thing. And that's the point that's been taken up by the South Liverpool veterans and Roncombe veterans. They say the local councils haven't done enough, as Ron lived in the borough of Halton and died in the borough of Knowsley. The issue is, if you live in a borough or a county, and the hospital you attend isn't in that borough or county, and you die in that hospital through any illness, you are not the responsibility of the council that you abide in. And that means all the years you've paid your council tax and you've paid your rent and you subscribe to the community and the lifestyle and the well-being of that particular council, when you die in another hospital in another borough, you are then classed as dying in no man's land and that's the 21st century and that is appalling. In a statement from Halton Council, they say the Public Health Act of 1984 states the responsibility for the burial of someone should a family not be located or can't afford it lies with the local authority where the person died, not where they lived. In Knowsley Council's statement, they say in the absence of any family members, it's the duty of the council to arrange a burial or cremation. However, they say Mr Davies' family agreed to arrange a funeral. And so after nearly seven weeks of lying in a hospital morgue, Ron Davies, formerly of the Royal Army Ordnance Corps, is laid to rest thanks to the help of other veterans. Jesse Aru Phillips for Forces News in Merseyside.